my internet connection is faulty it's a line we're very used to talking about now in our online meetings usually it's the truth sometimes it's an excuse but that's about to change the main reason is going to be 5g yes Now, each tech phase we go through has a defining moment and intervention. The previous decade saw widespread use of 4G networks with hundreds of phones coming each year. With 4G support, it really did change a lot of lives. I know a lot of us are not happy with it, but it was the start. But the next one will see the rise of 5G and the leap from 4G to 5G will probably be the biggest jump in overall performance and network capabilities you have ever ever experienced with 4G we got used to things like online meetings streaming of our favorite movies doing a video call one to one without even thinking about it watching live sports watching videos in 1080p or even higher resolutions if you had a good connection 4G also saw the rise of things like mobile payment apps as real time online payment so a huge rise but 5G promises to be way way superior i think that phrase you haven't seen anything yet really applies to 5g imagine this wifi like speeds on your mobile data which will let you download that 2 hour netflix movie in just seconds that buffering on your youtube video gone forever but if you think that 5g is only going to be about speed then you would be totally wrong it changes everything every smart product reacts instantly because there's near zero latency of 5g make sure it does cloud robotics and automation immersive 4k virtual reality proper virtual classroom learning instant decisions taken by a self driving car the list is long and endless it does so much Now we've all seen very futuristic science fiction movies where doctors are performing surgeries remotely or robots are getting instructions to do certain things in real time. Well, it's not going to be about science fiction anymore. It will become reality with 5G. This would be possible because 5G also promises something called ultra low latency levels and delivers instantaneous responses. This is very very important for the kind of technology, products and gadgets we'll be using in the future. But what good does all of that do for India? I know we keep talking about 5G, we don't even have 5G yet. Well, countries like the US and UK have established 5G networks. India is still on 4G. But you know, finally 5G seems to be around the corner in India. maybe not too long to wait for now 5g moves from fantasy to reality very very soon now despite not having a 5g infrastructure india is still planning ahead we're seeing smartphones launched now in 2020 2021 having a 5g modem inside the device which means that they already had all the measures in place for when 5g actually launches in india you're not going to buy a new phone again in 6 months right we have smartphones like the oneplus 8t vivo v20 pro and about 15 others that already support 5G networks the Moto G 5G launched in late 2020 became the most affordable 5G enabled smartphone in the entire country and it absolutely did not compromise on other specs so 5G is affordable and a reality in 2021 we will see a large scale shift towards 5G technology with almost all smartphones showcasing the latest hardware with 5G capabilities now while you may not be able to use 5G till the second half of 2021 there's no harm in buying a smartphone that is future proof and ready another big incentive is that even 4G networks seem to work better on 5G enabled devices now how do you ensure that your smartphone is 5G enabled and future proof well the easy way to do that is to make sure you buy a device with the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor inside smartphones powered by the Snapdragon X55 or Snapdragon X60 modem RF systems are all 5G compatible this is because Qualcomm is propelling the 5G revolution around the world from innovation to infrastructure to 5G enabled mobile processors Qualcomm is pushing the limits to bring all the greatness of 5G into our hands. Let's talk now to Deepu John, Senior Director Product Management for Qualcomm to find out a little bit more about what we were talking about. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. So I'll start off with my first question. What is so special about the transition to this new 5G technology? Consumers worldwide have consumed more and more data over the years. 
And this year with COVID, as we are being driven more into a mobile centric world, data consumption has gone up even more. All this can lead to network congestion and 5G can help alleviate this. In addition, 5G also delivers multi gigabit download rates, smoother, higher resolution video streaming at FHD plus and 4K, cloud-based gaming, cloud-based storage, and other new means of communication. And all this is even more relevant in today's work and home environment. Just like 4G ushered in new applications and services, 5G will now unleash a new set of experiences. Now this is a question we get very, very often. What does Snapdragon do differently in 5G mobile processors, different from everything else we've been buying before? As I mentioned before, Rajiv, 5G will unleash a whole set of new experiences. And we leverage all aspects of Snapdragon to bring about these experiences. And all these will be benefited regardless of which network they are on. And having 5G further enhances these experiences. Great. Now you launched the Snapdragon 888 recently and it's received great rave reviews. What 5G capabilities did you enable on this platform? The Snapdragon 888 is our latest and most advanced Snapdragon platform. Fabricated in 5 nanometer process node technology, it delivers substantial performance and power improvements over Snapdragon 865. The CPU is 25% more powerful. The GPU renders graphics 35% faster and the artificial intelligence engine is more than twice as powerful. Overall, we have given it enhancements almost all domains across this platform, including CPU, GPU, AI, video, gaming. The X60 modem on the Snapdragon 888 delivers an industry leading 7.5 gigabits per second download data rate. Overall, the Snapdragon 888 will deliver a fantastic user experience to consumers worldwide. Let's now speak to Nipun Maurya, Head of Marketing Strategy, Vivo Mobile, India Private Limited. Thank you, Nipun, for joining us on the show. Always a pleasure having you. My first question is, what does Vivo V20 Pro bring for the consumer? The Vivo V20 Pro, uh, despite uh, being the slimmest uh, 5G phone uh, in the category, it is also a phone which packs in a lot of power uh, because of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G platform. Uh, the phone has a 44 megapixel front camera, a 64 megapixel rear camera, uh, and not just this, the phone with its beautiful looks and design uh, is a perfect device for anybody who's planning to buy a 5G ready phone today. How does having a 5G ready handset impact customer experience? Uh, a 5G ready handset is certainly a great boon for anybody who's planning to buy a phone today and also being future ready. Uh, we all know uh, 5G network, uh, there are a lot of talks around 5G networks being available in India and maybe this 5G networks will come, come out sometime very soon. So as soon as these networks are available, I know some of the customers are really tech hungry, they want to be future ready. So a 5G phone today is certainly going to be an assurance for being future ready for the years to come. And how does a Snapdragon powered handset impact the device experience? The Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G platform uh, is a great platform because it powers uh, everything that a consumer needs, whether it's in terms of imaging or gaming. And these two are the most important aspects which any consumer cares about today. Nipun, tell me, what will 5G enable for consumers as the networks get rolled out? Because of the low latency speeds, because of the high network capability, what we will finally see uh, is that, uh, again, you talk about work, so uh, absolutely amazing, crystal clear voice and video in video calling, to entertainment, uh, you call it video consumption, uh, gaming, everything we will see an absolutely lag-free experience. And that is what is going to bring, you know, when we have a 5G here. Not just this, even new use cases will, will emerge. We've been talking about AR and VR for a long time. We've been talking about multiplayer gaming uh, to another level. So all these uh, things which we've only talked about will also become a reality with the advent of 5G. Thank you, Nipin, for joining us. As always, it's a complete pleasure to have you on the show.